Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Southern province. We will take your phone calls on 0955. 221515 for your participation and of course uh, you can send us your messages as well on uh, the number 0761912493 that's for your messages both uh, SMS's as well as WhatsApp messages 0761912493 that's strictly for your messages. For your phone calls, call me on 0955-221515. Well, we lost it, but we'll take another one. Call us back on 0955-221515. Our guest is Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, who is the chairperson for Inform Publicity and Information and spokesperson of the Patriotic Front. Uh, good uh, morning. Good, good morning, my friend. How are you today? Yeah, fine. This is Moses. How are you? Moses, where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from within the park. Great, go ahead. Yes, and you call me like how are you are over ambassador. You meet people like you are so calm, you know. Even when you are speaking to you, for us as citizens, you can get that encouragement that I think you need to continue. You know, continue talking about the wrong, you know, and the 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 uh, the shortcomings of this shortcomings of this government because. Without increasing, our leaders want to perform to our expectations. Now I'm wondering if I'm, I don't know how you are taking this. Yeah. Whenever this government has found an obstacle, they say the PF was in and the government was in. I don't think that the uh, you know, message is. Uh, Good, because you know, these people that are in civil service, they are our fellow citizens. Yeah. And you cannot have a situation where now you start discriminating to say, these are PS, these are UPNP. Then it means you are putting the rights of those people in a secure, because you know, they want to work to 100% or so our expectation. Why? Because they are like they are threatened, they don't know about their future, they don't know that maybe tomorrow they will be fired. So we can perform an India for because the same thing is this government is voted out or in future. Those that have been employed by under the UPAC, their lives also are going to be you know, are not going to be safe because they will be afraid to say maybe we're not to continue to have a perform an India. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, uh, Moses. Uh, and you know, people from, from the north, they become big-headed when they miss them, like Moses overpays <laughs> them. No, I just hope quiet, you don't. Quiet, yeah. you know, I just hope you don't. But uh, we've got somebody in Turkey who is listening, Joe Ode Future, uh, says, uh, Morning, Zach and Honorable Mwamba, mm -hmm. watching you from Turkey. Mm -hmm. You know, this whole thing is because of the mistakes um, of the Patriotic Front uh, cadres. Mr. Mamba, we have suffered enough uh, 
we have suffered enough as a country talking about NEMA, it's now a worst. How do you even talk about uh, 101 to uh, 101 aged person to 1000? Are we sure of uh, that? Just talking about Forex, uh, just talking about Forex and a, 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 thing cost, uh, a thing called cost of living, even just the energy story, I was sure petrol is now at 30 kwacha millimeter, is now at 280 to 300 mm. uh, in some parts of. So, you guys need mm. to work hand in hand and sort these things uh, because uh, we are tired as a nation. Mm. So, so here you are, and, 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 and this person, President Turkey, obviously, yeah. these are the pleas to say uh, mm. let's avoid all the harsh. Criticism mm. and, 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 and fighting as a country when mm. we have all these serious issues that need mm. to be addressed. Mm. Uh, I do get his, uh, uh, his point. I've got uh, Adson uh, Kasonde who says, I'm watching you from Chingola, Lamuamba. Mm. Thanks for your mm. wisdom. We will definitely continue supporting you and the Patriotic Front Party. Mm. Work well. Uh, don't worry, we are watching. And uh, let me take another call. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Good morning. Your name, Sand. Where are you calling us from? Uh, 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 this is Brian. Uh, calling from Lusaka. Brian from within Lusaka. Please go ahead, sir. My name is Mwamba. My name is Mwamba. Your name is Mwamba. My name is Mwamba. Where? It's Mishi Mishi. What? It's Mishi Mishi. Christmas. At Christmas, oh, Shani. Yes. Yes. Uh, Mm -hmm. Brian. Uh, I've got a message here from uh, Morning Lazak Kumona Ba Mwamba, Kumona Ba Mwamba. Nine, don't be easy. Kuching mm. Bola has mm. been quite consistent though. Uh, mu PF, ama machine, muma council, tatuale amona under CDF. Mm. Le lomonyu don, tule amona, ama machine, muma council, under CDF. So, mm. nomba imwe, kanawesa, ba mwamba. Chinshi, chilenga, ukukana, tasha, nine don busy, kuchingola. 
Mm. Uh, would you like to react maybe a little bit there for now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I think we've got um, three uh, callers. Mm. Let's start with Mr. Mbozi, who's blaming the patriarchy front. Mm. That we lost elections for peripheral issues such as Kadarism, you know, and political violence maybe in by-elections. We didn't lose elections on bigger issues such as, uh, you know, issues of uh, development mm. because people can see the roads, the bridges, they can see the dams, the hospitals, the schools, they can see the airports, they can see the work that the patrol front, the investment in power stations, so that we don't have load shedding. But why did we lose power? And he's blaming us that we didn't, for example, handle issues like Kadarism, and here we were punished because he's bemoaning that now look at the monster that the people of Zambia brought a monster that is devouring them. And it's given an example of civil servants that have been highly victimized. There are over 300 civil servants that have been packed at Public Service Management Division for the so-called uh, redeployment. This is unprecedented. This is another number be besides the ones they fired. So you have people literally on two salaries because you have directors, assistant directors, and senior managers that have been removed. And then they've brought, you know, when we claim tribalism, this is what we mean, the, the new appointees. So you literally have two people, the new ones that they brought on salary, and the old ones that they can't fire because civil service does protect himself, themselves. This will be sooner or later. If you have seen even the policemen they fired are being either reinstated or being paid because of the manner they were doing it. So I agree with Mr. Mbose that the PF lost power on peripheral issues, not on the major issues, and we're punished. And now we have a monster, you know, leading us who really doesn't care about our people. The gentleman from um, Turkey puts the case of um, Nima very well. He says, Nima was a key to providing universal coverage for our people, that our people could afford health care. It was placed in their own hands to manage and to hear the crisis is occurring at Nima, where prescription can be approved for many days. There is a prescription in Shuari Pola. Ngama test to left wire. You might even have died by the time there are authorities coming. Then the crisis that we have at the cancer disease, diseases hospitals, again, where qualified staff were paged. Government spent millions of dollars to train these people. Ours in South Africa, every quarter I would receive, you know, a new lot of people that were coming for training, you know, either to manage machines, either they were nurses to, that were being equipped to, because cancer diseases are, are a new phenomenon in Zambia and you require special skills. Then we had a lot of doctors that were sent to Cape Town, to Australia, you know, just to specialize in this. And they were all, oh, most of them have been purged. Then when you look at the Zambia Medicine Regulatory Authority, rendered toothless. Government decides to buy medicines from Egypt. These medicines are not registered in Zambia and the medicines are forced on Zamra to approve. The approval processes for medicine is very, very tedious and long because they have to test it. Mm. They have to carry their own tests on people. Sometimes it takes up to a year. But you have this introduction of medicines because of the corruption at the top. They buy medicines worth $70 million. And now they have to force this medicine for distribution on our people. So Zamra is being forced to approve. Zambia Medicine and Medical Supply, Zamsa, which is supposed to buy. You see how long it has taken for them to take off. The procurement process was abolished, at Ministry of Health. The powers were transferred to Zamsa. And nothing is happening. They've been doing some procurements here and there. But the drug shortages has never gone away. And on regulatory authorities, this is what we are talking about even uh, um, on, um, on the biosafety agency, where we know, we know that they are importing millimil, pre-packed millimil from, from South Africa. We know that millimil from maize or millimil from South Africa is, is, um, is uh, GMO. We know that. Because South Africa, the entire South Africa has been uh, segmented as a GMO area. So even if I grow non GMO maize. My neighbor, I can't control what my neighbor will grow. My neighbor may grow GMO maize. So the entire South Africa is the GMO area. It's been, 
uh, designated as such, we are importing. And ZNS is now selling. Uh, our dear brother Thomas uh, Thomas uh, uh, Ziambo wrote a story. Say reason they arrested him. He simply wants answers. We have this information about what ZNS is doing. Give us answers. Are you importing GMO to feed our people? If Biosafety Agency has given you authority, because they're the only authority that mm. can grant you mm. to import GMO, why haven't they publicized to Zambians that we gave the government of the Republic of Zambia or ZNS to import GMO millimil? So that our people then can make a choice when they go to buy millimil. Because then the choice is up to you. Do you want to buy GMO millimil or not? These are very sensitive matters, but government should not use the arm of the police to answer to this. Our people merely want answers. Our people, if I'm going to consume milimi, what in there? And for quish, I'm from in a quish, sir. I am a pepe. Where they come from? Where? I am a tabaya from in a quish, sir. That's a simple question our people are asking. And when we ask them, they come with a heavy turn, with a hammer to swat a fly. <coughs> The last one is uh, the cry from PF members that what are we doing? We've seen him in Galato, where they're abusing the constitution, they're abusing the law, they're abusing parliament, they're abusing the registrar. Let's talk about the nominations and the, and the recent... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming to yeah. that. What they've done is um, they've... Um, recognize Mao Sampa, who clearly held an illegal process. The entire country knows that. The entire country knows that Mao Sampa is not the PF president. But President Akainde Ichinem and his team are imposing Mao Sampa on the PF. And they want to disenfranchise us, who are legitimate legal owners of the PF, who are elected legal owners of the PF. And they move to the registrar, replace the the the, um, the office bearers they moved to parliament re removed our leaders in parliament they've now moved to ECZ that ECZ now we recognize remember the list they took to register our societies for anyone to participate in this by election horrible Sakwiba Scotta state council issued a statement on his Facebook page and it's been carried by certain various media organization. He has called on the Chief Justice, Dr. Mumba Malila, who's a renowned human rights lawyer. He says the tension occurring at the PF, where you are failing to resolve this matter, the tension in the PF is threatening national security because you've allowed the illegalities after illegalities to now even the police to protect an illegality in Malsam, to allow parliament to protect an illegality in Malsam, to allow the registrar of society to protect an illegality. What you have done, you've gone to the core issues of our country, of peace and security, rule of law, and constitutionalism. Where are your judges? Why are they attending to this matter? Brebna Changala, well-renowned civil society activist, Brebna took on the PF, took on Ed Galungu, is one of those critical voices that helped, helped the UPND to win elections. Again, he has called on President Naga in the to stop what he's doing because he's endangering national security. Because he's not fighting the PF, he's breaking the constitution, he's breaking the laws of Zambia, and he's enabling an illegality to occur. Then we have our people. We had Mayembe ward elections in Chinsali. Mm. We had Kapamba by election in Mpikam. And we had Kayo in Mwansa Wombwe. And now we had two certificates. One signed by Mao Sampa, an illegality, even if they've enabled him as a legal one. And the one signed by Edgar Lungu and Rafael Nakachinda. And they declared our candidates illegal on the premise. And they, the disqualification of our candidates is actually even illegal. Because our candidates filed, their nomination papers were successful. They even went outside, you saw the celebrations. At the end of the day, they were called that, no, 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 now we are closing nominations. There is no such thing in the Constitution or in the Electoral Process Act. In the Electoral Process Act and in the law, what is provided for? If I submit, like it happened in Kwacha, 
and Kabushi. They should be able to say, uh, Honorable Malanji, after scrutinizing your papers and reading Article 72 as directed by ECZ, you are not eligible to stand this in this election. I've seen your papers, but you do not qualify. I therefore disqualify you. That's what happens. You don't disqualify or qualify few hours later. It's not provided for in the law. We have complained about ECZ. Look at the composition. The entire composition of commissioners. Look at it. They now employed a director, you know, they call him chief electoral officer. A man that faced criminal offenses in 2016 for tampering with the register, tampering. There were criminal offenses against him. And they were only withdrawn on the understanding that he will resign. Is a person with such a tainted record you bring as boss of ECZ. So you have commissioners, they are UPND, and just from almost, almost all of them from one section of our country. And then you have a, a, a CEO again who's been accused that he, there are certain things he was doing for the UPND that end him criminal allegations and the dismissal in 2016. These are very serious matters. It shows that we will not have fair, free and fair elections in 2026. 20, Can you guarantee peace? Can you guarantee law and order with such an ECZ commission? Can you guarantee that this country can have free and fair elections? On the eve of uh, uh, these by-elections, ECZ issues a statement that they only accept certificate signed by the president and the secretary general things that are not provided for what elections is our word officials constituents depending on what is provided for in your constitution that is provided for they've done the same to uh, Savoy Mboela where a faction which was led by Joseph Sakafumba the current PS is now the one they are recognizing. And remember, Registrar of Societies under Ministry of Home Affairs, mm. where Joseph Sakafumba is permanent secretary. And now they are recognizing an illegal entity as the owners of NDC, <coughs> despite these matters being in court. Zach, we have a nation in crisis. And when you ask a UPN, they'll tell you what crisis. There's no crisis. You tell them the exchange rate at our PF Mafshire, 23. You give them evidence that actually President Akainde found the exchange rate at 16. They will say, no, no, my issue is 23. That's why, you know, if you become a farmer, you benefit from the price. They are dismissive. Sakwiba Skota, um, Brebna Changala, the church in their pastoral letter that was issued in November, they say, President, what you are doing is you are endangering national security. You are endangering our peace by promoting illegalities and the rule of law. What is the answer from them? No, no, no. Even when they are the ones designing this illegality, they are the ones implementing these illegalities. If it was an internal fight, why are they interfering with the Registrar of Societies? Why are they interfering with the courts of law? Up to now, we don't have an injunction that we asked for in October. An injunction and, and, by and, law... And expel them, please? What yeah. Can you imagine? Look at the extent of the lawlessness. Where because, a non-PF member... confidence that these are looming by elections next, yeah, next month. True. That's the extent... And what are you doing about it? Just that's the extent of lawlessness our people face, our country face. That you can have a non-PF member in Morgan in honor. Expel our MPs that were elected by our people. Look at that lawlessness. Morgan Ingona is not PF. Well, okay, but because yeah, there President Daka in the Ichile has allowed him. Ambassador to, Mamba, the reality now is that those are the recognized. It's an alternative re reality. They are risking this country. And, and, and my question is how are you dealing with what is reality now? No, because we will. If, if the reality has been imposed mm. at the moment, you have to succumb to this. Uh, President Edgar Lungu said a very fundamental statement. Mm. He says to our members, the problem that has been thrust before us where you have 
uh, UPND and President Akainde Chidema trying to impose a leadership on the PF, mm -hmm. an opposition party. The problem is legal, which we are doing. We've gone to court. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have an injunction pending on a, on a judge's desk. The law says within seven days deal with the injunction. That's what the law provides. That's what Supreme Court regulation provides. We are going in the third month. So look at the lawlessness at the judiciary. We take Mao Sampa. Because at the time he was writing those letters, he was an expelled member, uh, a suspended member. So he can't use our stationery. He can't use any of our documents. We've said this is fraud by law. We don't know who's given him these letters. He's not even supposed to sign those letters. Him and Morgan Mon have committed an offense. Let's prosecute them for that fraud. You have a DPP who comes and writes a letter to discontinue those matters using two reasons. The first reason, he says, uh, because there are matters in the High Court, civil matters. Any basic lawyer knows, any basic law student knows that criminal matters take precedence. The DPP has abused his powers. He knows that criminal proceedings take precedence in this country. Secondly, they can run parallel with civil proceedings. But he abandons the law, he abandons the constitution, he abandons uh, supreme regulations and discontinued the matter. Secondly, on his nomination, on his ratification and affirmation when President Daga in the H. Lema, Mao Sampa stood in parliament and announced, you've seen the video, that I'm supporting Gilbert. Gilbert is a friend of mine, he's a personal friend of mine, and he's my lawyer. What should was required by the DPP? Gilbert, in, in this case, in reference to the DPP. Yeah, the DPP, right. Gilbert Piri, yes, when it was being ratified. You've right. seen the video. We can play it here, where our people can hear Mao Sampa saying, declaring that as an MP, material MP, is going to support the nomination of Gilbert as um, a, a, a DPP because Gilbert is his personal friend, he knows his integrity. Now, what was expected of the DPP is to declare interest, declare, say, no, 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 Mao Sampa is a friend of mine, maybe this file should be handled by my deputy or by another public prosecutor. That's what should have happened. You have criminality going on everywhere, whether it's at the judiciary, whether it's at the DPP's office, whether it's in parliament. That is why when the conference of uh, Catholic bishops, when, you know, Evangelical uh, uh, Fellowship of Zambia, and when the Christian Council of Churches in Zambia say, Mr. President, you are perpetrating illegalities and you are actually threatening national peace and security. The IG should not be issuing statements to us threatening us. The IG should be issuing statements to his president and the UPND who are facilitating this illegality which, which is abusing the rule of law. We asked for a subpoena of the court register, of our office of bearers register. We wanted to prove that Honorable Bonelli Muti, as Speaker of the National Assembly, had committed atrocities by changing the leaders of, or in Parliament because she announced to the country that she changed and made that decision based on a letter from Morgan Iwana and on the uh, status of uh, office bearers at the registrar's office. The registrar provided the genuine list of office bearers. So the Speaker of the National Assembly lied, abandoned the Constitution, which actually says this leader of the opposition must be elected among members of the opposition. They abandoned that. He, she lied that she made the changes based on the status of the registrar of society. When the subpoena that required that uh, this matter, you know, the registrar gives us these documents was now made public. They fired, they removed the registrar of societies, you know, Madam Tandi, uh, uh, Piri Muhende, from our office. You have these illegalities going on everywhere. Can I give you some? And seconds? the matter yeah. is before, one of the matters is before Judge Timoth Katenekwa. And for, from our knowledge and understanding, he's been made to discontinue those matters and we are told now he's going into retirement. There is a lot of things happening in this country. The damage that President Akainde Ichilema is doing to democratic 
and autonomous independent institution who far last beyond him. We have seen previous governments, FICO and do this, but they've never gone to the abuse of the Constitution. They've never gone to abusing the rule of law. You never saw a, a Nevers Mumba fighting with, with, um, with, uh, with, with uh, our dear brother Felix Mtati and government actively involved in it. Matters were in court. Nevers Mumba won all the cases that he took to court. Of course, there was lapse of time, but he won no court cases, you know. Not this government. This government is going to the judiciary. This government is going to the DPP's office. This government is going to parliament. This, going is dis this government is disregarding the constitution. So when eminent people, voices of reason in this country, blow the whistle that you are endangering national peace and security, that's what they mean. Because government is perpetrating lawlessness. Government is perpetrating the abuse of the law. And so when our members cry that, Ambassador, what are you doing about it? What do people expect us to do when it's government perpetrating the lawlessness? Some people are looking at the case that this is malsum. But it's not malsum that we're fighting. We're fighting President Hakainde Ichilema is the one perpetrating, enabling and allowing this. All institutions have been enabled to support an illegality. It's not malsum. Malsum is merely a pawn in the quest to destroy the PF and to destroy democracy in this country. To make him um, the only standing credible leader in 2020. Let, let me give you some more messages. The Thank you. One here. Uh, it, it says, good morning, Ambassador and, and Moderator. Uh, although I just tuned in 10 minutes ago, but I think that uh, what Mr. Mwamba has been saying is making a lot of sense. Now, my question is, recently a UPND official, uh, is it uh, Mr. Hachombwa, accused civil servants, uh, inclining, uh, civil servants inclined to the patriotic front party uh, of derailing the ruling party's progress uh, on delivery of development and services to the people. What is your reaction to such allegations? Are these workers using two uh, uh, sets of systems, policies, stroke policies, one of the Patriotic Front and the other of the UPND? How long are the UPND going to uh, hit the blame uh, on the former ruling party? Uh, let me quickly also uh, give you this one. This one says, uh, it's from Mazabuka. Bamwamba, tell this government that there, is, there are no drugs in hospitals, high cost of living, no salary increments in, in, in the private sector. The Minister of Labor, she is just uh, drinking tea. Here in Mazabuka, the company which uh, is named here, but I won't name it, uh, where this uh, gentleman who sent the text working for says uh, employees are working under toxic conditions of service. No salary increments for three years, no PPEs for employees, accidents after accidents, no contracts whatsoever. This is CSE from Mazabuka. Um, let's see if I can give you uh, just two last calls. I'm taking two last calls. Uh, good morning, your name and where are you calling us from? Exactly, good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Great, your name's and where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from Hiluru here in Lusaka. Great. I'm from Mangala, senior citizen, those are my name. Yes, Mr. Mangala, please uh, go ahead and be brief, uh, because you are our second last caller, right? Yes, your excellency. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm from the city. I'm from the city. I'm from the You see, every time I'm back to you, it gives me a lot of confidence. And I think the same goal for our members. They draw a lot of confidence in what they have said. But like the other caller say, for how long are we going to go on? For how long? Because we are also dedicated to whatever is happening. And we feel definitely so agitated like what is would wish anything to happen. But the thing is, why can't you deal with this court directly? Or seek any assistance from our partners around here? What are they saying? 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let me also maybe quickly just read, it. not necessarily that you can respond to all of them, but yeah, just yeah, to yeah. read out uh, the thoughts of our listeners. Uh, good morning, Zach and Mr. Mwamba. Um, Sir, you are speaking very well, but I disagree with you for free education. In PF, we were actually paying 200 kwacha, not 150, sir. Here, someone brought uh, free education, not paying anything, Bamwamba. Chishinka, Chishinka Nchamuse, Nchamuse, I think he meant to say. So this is uh, HH7 for life. This is Hastings uh, Kuchalala. Thank you very much, uh, Hastings, for that uh, message. Uh, let me also quickly give you another one. Good morning, uh, Mr. Moderator and Ambassador Mamba. Although, uh, okay, I think we read this one. Uh, but quickly, maybe you can respond to uh, Mr. Mwangala. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, the, the gentleman, let's start with Mr. Hachombwa. Who's accusing, who, who accused, yeah. a, a caller was referring to Mr. Right. Hachombo, right. who accused that civil servants um, frustrating government um, uh, uh, programs. I've been a civil servant, public servant, for 20 years. Civil servants are professionals. They saved Dr. Kaunda, they saved Dr. Chiluba, they saved President Monawasa. They saved President Rupia Banda, they saved Michael Sata, they saved Edgar Lungu, and they will save diligently Hakainde Ichilema. These fears are out of ignorance and just personal hatred. It has nothing to do with the public service. You just look at someone who comes from a certain region, you accuse them of being PF, and you, you believe your false accusation and you proceed to fire them, or pack them at PSMD, or victimize them. These injuries they are doing to our public service are totally unacceptable. And someone thought, someone thought President Nakainde would do something different. He even set up a commission to re-employ civil servants that felt they were victimized because of the region they came from. You are aware of that. Out of over 1,500 that applied, I think government only re-employed 170 because the bulk of the allegations were false. People were stealing, were thieves, were misconducting themselves and they were fired on that basis. And President Akainde Ichilema's own commission demonstrates that because all the 1,500, if they were really victimized because they came from a certain region, his own appointees would have reinstated them. Sadly, we are employing cadres in the civil service. Cadres, well-known cadres. You don't bring them in the civil service, you know. And I was sad the other day. The PS, uh, uh, PS Sports, make, presenting UPND cadres and UPND musicians to the president. You must have heard this speech. He said, Mr. President, I represent. I'm going to give a brief speech, but the ones I present here, they are all UPND and UPND cadres. They sang for you, but the others that we've employed, that even if they are UPND cadres and are musicians, we've employed them in our offices. They are transitioning now. They are civil servants, and he gave two examples of two musicians that one he had employed as a cleaner, another one that he had sent, I think, to Mansa. We went to Akwalesa. The civil service is supposed to be professional. And you're supposed to advertise those positions. They are eligible. Zambians are eligible to apply. So when will Zambians get employed? You have to belong to a party for you to get a government job? No. So <clears throat> the remarks by this caller is right. And let me give an example of my, my Minister of Health, Honorable Sylvia Masebo. She's quick to go and see who has stolen the Panadol. But our bosses are not dealing with the big scandals at our ministry. $70 million of medicines not approved by Zamra brought from Egypt. 
and they want to even to cover it as a um, government to government arrangement when it is not the records show that it is not there's a hundred million dollars for infectious diseases hospital where the contractor accused the minister of soliciting a bribe but she would rather go and chase a panado that a pharmacist hasn't dispensed for me, I would rather deal with these millions of dollars of procurement. You have procurement of medicines that have been recalled. Those are the issues we should deal with. We now have a of Always you are accusing someone. A civil servant should be the fourth guy for your own corruption. There is critical shortages of medicine. Not because the pharmacist is stealing Panadol, but because you have not bought the medicines. You know. Um, the other caller from... Um, uh, who, who, who from uh, is it Mazabuka or Monze? Yeah, Mazabuka. Who says first our salaries have not been increased for three years? Look at the cost of living. Look at uh, uh, the uh, you know the nutrition basket, the food and nutrition basket. He says you need about nine thousand three hundred kwacha. Are any of our workers getting anywhere near that nine thousand three hundred kwacha? And he says, for example, there is even no personal protection equipment, the PPEs that workers should wear. And he says, we've been working without contracts for three years or renewal of contracts. And she says, where is the Minister of Labor? Where is she? And it's a valid question. And the case from Monza is an isolated case. This is a, it's not an isolated case, sorry. Mm. This is a current picture across all industries in our country. Our workers are working in perilous condition. Wo Mwangala uh, is exasperated as he's saying, how long will PF members wait? We can't keep on telling them to be calm when atrocities are being committed against the party. And is you can see that our members have lost patience now. Because, like I said, this project we have, this problem we have, is not Mal Sampa. Mal Sampa is not our project, it's not our program. Mal Sampa is a project of state house. Mal Sampa is a project of government. Because if you see what has happened at the Registrar of Societies, if you saw what happened at his own conference when he was setting it up, if you see the behavior of ZNBC, if you see the behavior of the police, where the Deputy Inspector General of Police himself Honorable, you know, Milner was the one even clearing uh, uh, signatures for so called office bearers on the day of the conference. If you look at what has happened at Parliament, if now you look what has happened in the last three by elections, we are under attack. Mao Sampa has no capacity uh, to even organize even two policemen, he has no such capacity. We are dealing with President Aka Inde Ichilema, who's trying to steal, kill, and destroy the Patriotic Front. And our members must know, maybe they will raise their level of engagement. You know, they accuse us that we are calling for mass demonstrations. Yes, mass demonstration within the law. Our members in Chadiza or Zambezi can gather themselves, ask for a permit from the police, and march to the DC's office to express their displeasure. That is not illegal. It's within the law. It's within our constitution. They can do that to demonstrate over the disaffection that has affected this country and in the manner that this government is dealing with democracy. We need to protect democracy, sometimes by lawless people like dictators when they come to, to do that. The other last gentleman said free education, that me I should praise this government because it brought free education. And he says it was not 150, it was uh, 200. Well, I can refer you to the communication that was done, I think in 2019 or 2020, by the Ministry of Education Permanent Secretary, who reduced the fees to 150. And my question on free education is, the PF, there was a 600 quarter contribution, the PF reduced it first to 200 quarter and to 150. And my question is, who has provided free education? One was reduced by 150, one was reduced by 450. I guess, looking at mathematics, <laughs> algebra, the one who has provided, knocked off 450 kwacha, is one that has provided free education. Mr. Uh, Ambassador Mwam, Emmanuel Mwamba, we have to leave it here, but your concluding remarks, uh, and I mean it. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, to our 
supporters, like I've stated, that you can show your, dis your disaffection. You can show that you're not happy with this government using lawful means. You can get a permit. You can march to a district, um, a DC's office, district commissioner's office. You can march to a mayor's office. And you can carry placard. It's within the law. There's nothing illegal. We are, while our lawyers are busy, we politicians must do the politics. We must go even alone protest to, to state house and protest against the machinations being perpetrated by President Naka in the H.L.M.A. It's not outside the law. It's within the law. There are things we should do politically. We should participate in every by-election when they disqualify us. As Zambians will see what these institutions have been rendered. We understand that the, the faculty centers, uh, well, seems like they are willing not to go ahead and proceed with these uh, court cases, but then channel energies into endorsing uh, the Socialist Party uh, for 2026. How true is that? You know why why President Nakainde Echilema is doing what he's doing against the PF? He recognizes it's the largest political party in this country. He recognizes it has a countrywide presence. He recognizes two and a half years later the party remains intact. Even the machinations have tried with Mao Sampa. Two, two and a half months later, Mao Sampa still has no following, no presence, no support. They know how intact the PF is. So they want to push it to a corner where they will have the PF under Mao Sampa come in alliance with the PF so that the PF doesn't have a candidate. We know their immediate plans and their long-term plans. Their plans is that the PF should not have a candidate who they perceive will be Edgar Lungu in 2026 so that then Edgar Lungu can be pushed to another political party, smaller political party, which can adopt him or Edgar Lungu can form a political party. They want to put him in a corner. At every process, they are looking like a chess piece. So is he forming a political party? They control the political process. Will Savoya Imboela adopt him? They destroy Savoya Imboela. That's why we are letting Zambians that these schemes go to destroy democracy, go to destroy the multi-party state and nature of our country, go to render the country to a one-party state, go to render the 2026 elections where the only candidate standing will be Ichileman with his proxies. And Zambians should not allow that. Zambians decided. So are you endorsing Socialist Party? No, not at should all. Not, not at all. On. We are drag on. we are patriotic front, and patriotic front will fight tooth and nail. And like we have said, we we'll use legal means, political means, and civil means. We are engaging partners that recognize that the attack is on democracy. Democracy doesn't affect us, it affects everyone. We'll engage citizens. We want to acquire so let me poke at democracy. You may not like us as PF, but what they are doing, they're destroying democracy. We'll be engaged in political activities, whether it's demonstrations, whether it's protests, we will engage in all those activities to ensure that we reclaim and restore our country to a multi party state that it is. So God bless you and thank you to the management of um, of 5FM and to you, Zach, and my apologies to Dr. Chitalu Chirufia, who should have been here to comprehensively discuss the health sector. We pray that you give him another opportunity to come and speak to the matters because they are very cardinal to the health of our country. And to dear listeners, the callers, thank you very much, Womwangala, Litumeza, Hulu, and to all the guys and colleagues that called. And um, let's soldier on. We have a right and we have to protect our democracy. So God bless you. God bless you all. And good luck uh, uh, to this is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.